Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to talk about classes in Dart and kind of explain how we can write a simple class to store some information about a cat. Now, Dart's philosophy was always to be as familiar to developers as possible. And this means that a lot of the terminology and syntax has actually been borrowed from popular languages such as Java and C Sharp. So here's an example of how we could create a cat class. Just above the void main, we'll create a new class called cat. And within cat, we're going to store a string name and an int age. Then within our main function, we're going to type or create a new variable called cat, which is going to be a new cat. We're calling the class here. So we're making a new instance of this class and therefore creating a cat object. And then we're going to set cat.name is equal to Felix. And we're going to set cat.age is equal to 2. And that's all well and good because we've now instantiated a, a copy of a cat object. But say that we also wanted to print some info. Well, we can actually have member functions within a class. So we can create a function within a class that we can call from an object. So for example, within our cat class, say we wanted to print the cat's info. We can do a void print info. And then we could do a print, my name is name, and we're using this field here, I am age years old. And then we can simply call that member function within our main using the cat. So cat.print info, and that's calling this function within the cat class. So then if we hit print, we should see my name is Felix and I am two years old. That's all cool, but say we also want to be able to set attributes. Um, we, we don't want to be always setting attributes ourselves. And maybe we want to introduce some a local constructor that basically takes in two variables we define and it will return the object for us. I'll show you what I mean. So just under here, we can actually call cat, which takes a string name and an int age, and we're going to go this dot name, this referring to this instance of the cat dot name is equal to the name that we pass it, and this dot age is equal to the age that we pass it. And then what we need to do is basically we can delete these two lines, and within the constructor of the new object, we can define Felix two. Felix would be the first value here, which is going to be the name. And the age is the second value, which is two. So then if we run this same, same code, we should get the same output. But what we've done is we've effectively made the class have to instantiate itself and then return a cat object for us, uh, which removes the need for us to define and, de and basically set those values ourselves. We can also further simplify this constructor, basically using a shortcut that Dart already offers us. And we can do that by basically, we can remove all this. And then we can simply go this.name and this.age. And what this means is that the first two values that we pass in, name and age, will just be set straight to the values that we've got set up here. So if we run that, we'll get the exact same output. Now, we also want to set up some sort of level of permission uh, that makes sure that no people from the outside can actually set the values of that name and that age field themselves, unless it's passed in through the constructor. Now, in order to do that, we need to make these fields here private. And to do that, we just have to prefix them with an underscore. So we prefix these with an underscore and they immediately become private. Now, in order for us to do that, we do need to declare the type. Oops, so this will be a int and a string. And then we just need to replace these with their underscore counterparts. And this is so that the external class we're calling from it knows what variables it's allowed to pass in because it can't see these member fields here. It can only see what the constructor has, is making uh, available to it. So then here, we just need to replace this with the underscore and this with the age. 
And this is a much, uh, a much safer and a much better way to work with classes um, because it sort of keeps everything contained uh, within the class you define and you can safely know that people aren't able to edit these variables themselves after they've constructed the object. We'll run that again, make sure it works, and it does. That's basically class dismissed. <laughs> Uh, however, if you want to get more information, there's some great guides on the uh, dartlang.org website uh, around classes. So if you want some more information around sort of more complex class structures and definitions, be sure to check that out. For the focus of this course, you won't need much more than what I've already taught you. In the next video, we're going to cover error handling, so try, catch, and finally statements. And we're going to go through how we can use those to make our programs more robust and handle errors that might pop up. So I'll see you there.